while the socio-political turbulence of Bengal in the mid 20th century has famously shaped Ganesh Pine's work, his artistic vocabulary was also influenced by a number of other sources and his own life experiences. Lot 15 is a sketchbook of paintings that Pine made in 1959 when he was in his fifth year of the Government Art College in Calcutta. It was around this time that he was first introduced to the works of Paul Klee at a talk by artist Paritosh Sen. This proved to be a seminal event that shaped his own artistic career. Pine had been developing his artistic style during this period and reconciling the Western art he was studying with influences from the Bengal school of painting. Like Klee, his personal artistic vision also dwelt on the liminal worlds of memory, fairy tales and myths. The paintings in this sketchbook evoke Klee's own fantastical, childlike works that were populated by stick figures, fish, moons and arrows. At the same time, they bear similarities with Rabindranath Tagore's early works that were filled with animals or imaginary creatures depicted with fluid forms and intense colors. These paintings also offer a glimpse into Pine's fertile imagination, which he drew upon to create allegorical worlds populated by mysterious characters and symbolism in his later works. Lot 16 is also a sketchbook, this one from 1961, the year he took a trip to Orissa after graduating from college and made sketches of the temple architecture he observed. These early drawings occupy a vital space in the artist's oeuvre as examples of his technical mastery and fine handling of details that would go on to characterize his later paintings. Art critic Sheila Datya Sharkar notes that Pine's interest in architecture expressed itself in his mature works where he used architectural forms as visual metaphors and where a feeling of inner emptiness is projected through buildings. Lot 45 was made during a period when the artist worked primarily with watercolour, ink and wash and gouache before developing his own tempera technique. In 1961, Pine took up a part-time job as an illustrator at Mandar Malik's animation film studio, where he learned to pay attention to the minutiae of his surroundings. While sketching characters and storyboards based on Malik's ideas, he developed his own artistic style that would go on to characterize his mature works. He skillfully layers brushstrokes and washes with precision to create a dreamlike, theatrical quality that he perfected over the years. Pine was deeply influenced by the lyrical compositions of the Bengal school, particularly the art of Abhanindranath and Gagendranath Tagore. The deliberate stiffness of the figure is counterbalanced by his use of light and shadow. He imbibed its subtleties from the works of the Tagores as well as Rembrandt's Chiascuros. The figure contains many features that would become emblematic of those of his widely regarded tempras. Its limbs appear wooden and immobile and its enlarged head and elongated eyes create a haunting atmosphere. Lot 46 from 2005 is a mature tempera on canvas that exhibits a similar figuration and skilled use of light and shadow along with the characteristic luminosity of Pine's works. He transitioned from watercolour to tempera in the 1960s. The artist experimented with various binders guided by Nandlal Bose's writing in Shilpa Chorcha and ultimately chose gum acacia which gave the pigments a certain glow. He expertly built up areas of light and shadow by layering translucent glazes till he achieved the required colour saturation and sense of volume and depth. Pine developed his own personal symbolism and built allegorical worlds populated by wounded gladiators, dying kings, wandering saints, weapons and skeletal forms. This lot features a mysterious, dreamlike composition, centering an illuminated saint-like figure, possibly an interpretation of the 16th century Vaishnava saint Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The bones of an animal appear suspended in mid-air to the left of the canvas like a memento mori, a reminder of the perishability of flesh and inevitability of death. Art critic Ella Datta notes that despite the sense of melancholy, the composition also contains elements that signify hope. The lamp appears as a symbol in many of Pine's works, likely as a corollary to the ever-present shadow of death. Bid on these lots by Ganesh Pine and other works by modern Indian artists at our flagship evening sale on September 14, 2024.